Hi everyone, it's Killshot from 99 Gaming's The Walking Dead Season 8, Episode 7, Complete Spoiler. Warning, this will contain scene-by-scene -scene events. These are confirmed, so if you're not in spoilers, you must, must, must turn away right now. This has been setting up for some time now. The episode before the mid-season finale, it is going to get absolutely crazy. So here we go, we're going to dive right into it. We know that Rick was captured last week. Well, Rick's been walking around taking Polaroids. Well, you know what? Jadis is going to turn the table on him this week. Rick is in his uh, skimpy boxers. She's going to take a picture. He's like, what's that for? She wants to sculpt him. Jadis is certainly putting her artistic talents to good use, but that's not the only thing that's going to go down. They're going to take Rick out, and yes, you heard it, new Winslow. Remember last season when Rick had to fight Winslow to prove his worth? Where they're going to take him out there. He's less clothed this time, but he gets Winslow 2.0. I guess this is the scavenger's way to get revenge. They want uh, Winslow to even the score. Well, Rick takes him down cuts off Winslow number two's head and then grabs Jadis and puts Jadis right beside Winslow's head and says, do we have a deal? She said yes. So Rick kind of worked his way uh, out of the box. Now he's got his partnership that he wanted the hard way. Leave your thoughts and comments below. Rick and the Scavengers 2.0. Now he has uh, some partners to help him out. But is Daryl going to foil the plan before it even gets started? We saw Daryl in the garbage truck. He's going rogue. He's got Tara there. He's got Rosita, Michonne, and basically looks over at him and says, we're going to end this thing right now. His plan is to drive the garbage truck right through the sanctuary. It is going to happen. There's going to be more on that, but it's really going to mess up the plan because Rosita and Michonne are not down for this. They're actually, they're going to turn and walk away. So it is going to be Morgan who is going to jump in and take the place of Rosita and Michonne. We were wondering what was going to happen with Morgan. We saw him peeking through here. We thought he might go up to the hilltop and get revenge. That's not what he's doing. He's been following Daryl around. He wants to go straight to the sanctuary and take care of business. It's a little bit funny how Morgan, Tara, and Daryl all are just hell-bent to get revenge, and they're actually going to mess up Rick's plan. On the topic of that, I did mention that Rosita and Michonne will leave. Rosita tries to convince Daryl that Rick is doing the right thing. Daryl doesn't want to hear it. He's going forward. Eugene is a big part of this episode. I know we went back and forth on, is Eugene going to be Team Rick, or is he going to betray Rick and stay with Negan? Well, we get our answer 100%. Eugene is officially Team Negan. He's not coming back over to Team Rick. So Father G is sick. He's not bitten. Carson takes a look at him, says it's an infection. Eugene actually shows his selfish nature and is not worried about Maggie. He says, I need the doctor here. What if I get sick in the future? Eugene uh, is definitely off the Christmas list. Eugene is silent but violent. Uh, there's several other scenes that happen with Eugene here. He's going to have a scene with Negan. He's going to have a scene with Dwight. Dwight approaches him and says, the only thing you have to do is nothing. Just stand to the side and you'll be on the winning team. Eugene can't do that because we know that Negan has that conversation really just flatters him. However, Eugene does tell Dwight, I won't tell on you as long as you don't do anything to ruin the calls. I certainly don't agree with it, but I do understand how the writers uh, forced Eugene in this direction. He feels like he's included in something, and now he has a chance to be the hero and save everybody. There's big trouble for Rick. This is the big news this week. So here's what happens. Rick basically gets Jadis on board, and then they decide to help him. They go to storm the sanctuary because they assume that Daryl has done nothing yet, and it's completely surrounded by walkers. So the scavengers go over. Rick is going to show them that they're all locked up, they're pent in, and they're going to demand that Negan surrender. Well, they're all gone because Eugene invented a device to break them all out of there with the help of Daryl. So Daryl basically broke the wall. They swarmed inside, and then uh, Rick is basically standing there looking stupid. Rick has a look of shock on his face at the end of the episode because he was there to close the deal. He's embarrassed. He thinks they got Negan pent in, but Negan did escape. And on that topic, let's talk about exactly, as I mentioned before, how Negan escapes. We saw the teaser where Negan was talking to Eugene and says, look, you're wonderful. You got that nice mullet. Use your brain. Help get me out of here. Eugene says, you and I are on exactly the same page. Eugene does exactly that. Apparently, Eugene takes a kite and an iPod after Daryl breaks in. Uh, and we know these walkers like to chase things. We saw a little bit of a sneak peek from that with the scene with Carl and, and Sadiq. So the writers kind of preparing us for that, for what they're going to unveil with Eugene. So Eugene takes a kite and ties an iPod to it, plays a little bit of music. And all these walkers that were gathered up because Daryl breaks them through the wall are now led in another direction. Dwight does confront Eugene, and evidently Dwight does shoot down the kite, but it is a little bit too little, a little bit too late, because Negan has already escaped. So it's going to set up the midseason finale. It's going to be crazy stuff. Now that we know Negan is on the warpath, he's out on the loose. Rick is there with the scavengers like, what do we do next? Revenge is about to happen. The saviors are free. Thanks, everyone, for watching. This is the complete Season 8, Episode 7 spoiler. My name is Killshot. Talk to you all soon. Peace.